The funny thing is, I can absolutely see this being the case, considering how fucked in the head most people in politics and Hollywood are at the highest echelon of wealth and power. Pedophile rings run rampant in both, and with Jeffrey Epstein's suicide, if we really wanted to end it all, we could just form a raid on the Clintons' mansion because they can't suicide us all. Or instead, we could just watch a movie that plays out in a way that has probably occurred at least once before and ignore the subject like a child having keys dangled in front of us by Ian Watkins. Ready or not is the world's most intense game of hide-and-seek when your family will kill you if they get their hands on you. So, just your average game of Monopoly or Mario Kart. Samara Weaving plays the newlywed bride and is thrust into this allegory for how a rich family sees a tramp trying to mooch in on their fortune and battles to survive like she airdropped into the school in PUBG, except that literally everyone else is in the same clan and grabbed all the guns. There's even a little asshole she decks square in the face, reminiscent of what most of us wish we could do when we hear those annoying high-pitched squeals of China number one! While the concept of this film may not be original, it is still a very welcome change of pace from the usual droll of just another boring shitty shark movie number 42-B, or discount Academy Award bait to make people try to take me serious as an actress that's actually a terrible project number 956-Y. The humor is dry with some bite, just like a masochist prefers his blowjob, and is reminiscent of Tucker and Dale vs. Evil with a tone nearly matching like demons repainting the interior of a Mars moon base red with blood because they are cheap bastards who couldn't buy a few extra gallons of paint. The practical effects are good, the acting is fine, as these characters are played out to be pretty incompetent by a decent cast. The constant crap blown through the fan at this poor woman really helps for you to cheer her on whenever she does get the moment to go and one-up somebody trying to kill her. Not that they come up often, this woman goes through more shit than Mike Rowe temping as a sewage worker during Katrina. And the film does manage to make the obvious just leave the mansion and run for it train of thought reasonable to buy unlike the absurd cost of Iron Man's suit repairs. The other best character in the film has to be the brother played by Adam Brody. Having a conscience, it would make makes sense that he is as torn up about what him and his family must do to Samara Weaving's character as the Federation's forces were after the first invasion of Klendathu. The rest of the family is shown to be cartoony and a little exaggerated like the evil aunt who looks like a gremlin with Paul's haircut from Tekken. I do wish the filmmakers though went further into the occult stuff, because the angle of the family not quite believing their own bullshit leaves the movie a little limited to a degree. Ready or Not was an enjoyable little film. The acting is good across the board. I kind of wish more skepticism of the deal would have been explored considering we live in the modern era. Then again, many people still believe in cryptozoology and think that Nessie is still alive, totally not in cahoots with the Scottish government to fund their own space mission. The film is funny, if not a bit telegraphed ahead of time, kind of killing the joke. And this film proves that occasionally Hollywood is willing to stick its faith in someone that isn't still in junior high.